It's Diane Mathias here and Halloween is coming up and that often brings up the idea about masks. For me personally, I have a bit of a different outlook on those because I have used masks as a healing modality in my life. You see, about eight years ago, I had a cataract surgery and it went upside down. Instead of it being a healing type of a thing, there grew inside the implanted lens, there was an, an infection and uh, it took a specialist to determine that this was going on. He went in immediately and removed the implanted lens, which had already started to grow into my eye. As a result, there was tremendous trauma to that eye, to my retina, and I had to lie in bed with eyes closed for over a month. And the pain and not being able to see with that eye, of course, all of that was very, very scary. And it, I learned to really honor and speak to that eye. Later, when I returned to my work where I was teaching and doing facilitating different workshops for cancer patients and the bereaved using the healing arts, it was then that in my mask making, I began to honor my eye with my masks. I found that it was really important to speak to my eye and to speak how grateful I was for that particular part of my body. This is a mask. that I created representing the lying in bed with eyes closed in a dreamlike state back and forth for a long time. Watching TV was too stressful and of course I was not allowed to read or anything like that so I lay in bed. Um, here is another mask and you can see that the eyes are accentuated. There's even a heart here and yes that is right underneath the eye that was so badly damaged. This mask has on the inside the warrior woman, that's me, and on the outside all the things that I would love to have been able to see. And yes, this is the heart and the tears coming down. And finally, the last mask that I have of that time is a mask that also honors the eyes in gold. It's not a pretty mask. None of these masks are terribly pretty because that was not a pretty time, but a very difficult time. But it was a time when inside of me, that which was going on inside of my eyes and all the things that had no words, wanted to be expressed. And so in my art, this is how I express them through these masks. And whereas a lot of people use masks to cover up, I use masks to, uh, to give voice to my eye that had been so drastically hurt. And losing the sight of that eye changed my life completely. And as a result of that, I quit a job because the stress was too great. Um, I really had to learn, my whole brain had to reformat. I had to get used to seeing things in a wavy way because the retina was so swollen. But after two years, it began to recede after quitting that job. And I'm the retina miracle child, but I have to say that the way I learned to treat my own body, to love my own body, to give my body voice, was a very, very valuable thing, not only in my own healing, but in the healing of others that I've worked with. So that is how masks had really been an important part of my life, an important part of my healing, an important part of giving this body a voice beyond my words.